Have you ever wanted to take your black line work and turn it into another color? This technique is known as a color hold, and in this video, you're going to learn how to do it in Clip Studio Paint. Let's talk about color holds. If you look at Disney characters like Alice, Ariel, and Peter Pan, they're all using color holds. In other words, the line work is a different color other than black. Notice the darker yellow lines around Alice's hair, the deep purple used for Ariel's shells, and the way Peter Pan's lines enhance the underlying colors with different tones of green and orange. Now look at Chippendale. These two lovable guys don't use color holes at all. Instead, all of their lines are black. All right, time to fire up Clip Studio Paint. This circle represents your line work and it's on its own vector layer. I know it's not exciting, but I want to keep you focused, so I went simple. To create a color hold, you can go at it two ways. The first way is destructive, meaning it'll change the color of the line itself. The second way is non-destructive, which in most cases is the better option. With a non-destructive action, you have more flexibility because the underlying line and its color remain the same. I'll show you how to do it both ways because options, like bow ties, are cool. With method one, the destructive method, you first need to rasterize your line work. Right click on the layer and select rasterize. You can also make a copy first by selecting duplicate layer and then rasterizing the copy. That's what we'll do here. Now that the line work is rasterized, you can work on the color hold. In the layer palette, there's a lock transparent pixel option. Switch that on by hitting this button. This setting allows you to paint on a layer in such a way that the paint is only applied to the opaque pixels. In other words, you can't paint where a transparency exists. Grab the color you want and start painting. You don't need to worry about accuracy because you can't paint on transparent pixels. While this method is relatively quick and easy, and in fact has many other valuable uses besides color holds, it's destructive. The black lines aren't black anymore. They're whatever color you painted them. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to use a clipping layer. With a clipping layer, you're able to modify the color of your line in a non-destructive way. Let's hide the colored rasterized layer and bring back the original vector line work. Create a new layer on top of the line layer. It doesn't matter if it's vector or raster. Now set this new layer to clip at layer below using this option in the layer palette. Once it's set, you'll see a red indicator to the left of the layer thumbnail. By clipping at the layer below, this limits what's displayed on this layer by referring to the layer immediately below it. So when you apply paint or color to this layer, you'll only see that color where the layer below has opaque pixels, in this case, the black lines. Remember, this is a non-destructive action, so when you hide this layer, the original line work remains untouched. When using this technique, it's important to understand that it's using the layer below as its reference layer. So if you stick another layer in between and that layer is visible, you'll start referring to that layer and its pixels instead. Now there is one other method, but I generally don't use it for color holds because my line work tends to live on a single layer. With this other method, you can set the layer color option for the layer. This changes all of the colors on that layer to whatever color you choose. If you need more than one color, you're out of luck unless you add more layers. Well, that's it, folks. That's the end of this video. I hope you learned a little bit about color holes and how to make them in Clip Studio Paint. 